Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my let's play of Under Rail. I've come down to Agronomy to talk to Brett to uh, do some of the quests he has. So let's see what he has to say. You must be RPG Crawler. They call me Big Brett. So you pass all the tests, I see. Couldn't have been easy. Those were just gotten harder and harder in recent years. Uh, I like challenges. Yeah, sure. You're going to love it here, then. So it brings you to the pens. I've been tasked with helping you with a hopper roundup. Very good. So, say, have you ever captured a hopper? Nope. I don't even know what that is. Look over there in the pen. Those are cave hoppers. Hoppers, for short. They're speedy little bastards, let me tell you. Shooting one is hard, but catching it alive is even harder. They're usually found near the lakes, because that's where their favorite food grows, the lake mushroom. Anyway, here's what you need to do to capture some hoppers. First, go to the storage room. It's the room with two entrances just across the hall, and I see it over there. And get some dog crates. You'll need them to hold your quarry. Getting them inside won't be easy, though. As soon as they sense you'll, as soon as they sense you're coming, they'll scurry off and crawl through the crevices in the cave wall. So what you need to do is immobilize them before they run away, either with hopper traps, which unlike bear traps will ensnare them without, without. We'll ensnare them without snap most of their bones in half. Editor! Editor, where are you? Anyway. Or with throwing nets. Also, if you can handle a crossbow, you could try shooting them with tranquilizing bolts. A single shot will drop a hopper quickly and will allow you to capture it easily. Now you'll find all these things in the storage room, and you're free to take as many as you need. But if you need more than what's in the storage room, well, I can only sell it to you. Your hunting ground is the Mushroom Cove. Head south from the Crossroad Watch and then turn right at the first chance. You'll come across a big cavern with a lake. I'll, I'll need three healthy specimens. Good luck. Oh, and by the way, I've also sent a young man called Newton to catch some hoppers. It's been a while, so see if you can find him and learn what's taking him so long. Sure thing. Who's Newton? Well, he's just like you, a newcomer who needs to learn the basics of what it takes for the station to operate. I've sent him to catch, a few, catch hoppers. He should have been back by now, though I, ha though I hope he hasn't gotten himself into any trouble. Alright. I'll get right on it. Let's head up. We need, uh... I totally forgot what he said to get. I know we need boxes. Throwing nets. Take all that shit. Tranquilizing dots. Hopper traps, yes. Nothing really in there. Okay, I'm just gonna take those just cut just because. Alright. Alright, I was just making sure I got everything. Alright, looks like I've got everything. I'm gonna grab anything that I can off these shelves too. So we head back out to the tunnels, and I will see you there. And I'm off to the caves while wounded, which is probably a bad idea. So let me go ahead and uh, heal myself real quick. Probably should have rested or something. Oh, well. So let's head south from here. See what else is in the dark. Wait, there was a side passage there. Let me run back here real quick. What the hell is in this side cave? Nothing. Alright, here we go. What's this sign say? I think I gotta take uh, North South Gate Station, East, East Camp Hather. I think there's like where I need to be over here. Whoa! Halt, who goes there? It's RPG Crawler, the new guy. I recognize you now. What are you doing out here? I've been instructed to round up some hoppers from the Mushroom Cove. Am I headed the right way? Yes, yes you are. It's just beyond this passage. Be careful, though. There are psi beetles there, if you haven't already been warned. Did you happen to see a young man go into the Mushroom Cove? Newton's the name. Yes, he went through here recently. I'd say about two hours ago or so. He said he was going to catch some cave hoppers. He hasn't returned yet, though. You mentioned psi beetles? Yeah, psi beetles. Nasty creatures, especially if they're in a group, because that's when they start slinging powerful psionics at you. 
Again, nasty creatures. By the way, if you haven't already, be sure to talk to old Jonas at the crossroads. Alright. Stick to the eastern bank and you should be safe. Not a problem, but I suspect I'm going to have to go further than that to find this guy. Oh, there's a cave hopper. So what have I got to do? I've got to get, uh... i got to figure out what I've got to fi figure out here. I can use that. And instead of a throwing knife, let's look at uh, tranquilizing darts. There we go. So I need three of these guys. Well, there's a couple things I can do around here. Grab the lake mushroom. Grab another lake mushroom. And then hopefully just wait for this guy to show back up again. Okay. I guess not. Oh. Oh, fucking A. He went way the hell out of range. And he's gone. Can I catch him in a... in a net? He's entangled. And can I use a dog crate on him? No, it's not fucking A. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, got that. And I will attempt to use it on the cage hopper. Cave hopper. Cave hopper. Well, there's one down. Jesus Christ. There's another one. Let's uh, try to catch another one with a net. That does look like my best bet. I can't end combat at this time. Why not? What's, what's, what's combating me? What have I done? What have I done? And what the hell happened to my, uh... To my ability to actually do anything? Try and catch this guy in a net? Oh, fuck. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm sorry, Cave Hopper. I didn't mean to shoot you. It's just that the interface of this game is so clunky. Let's go this way. Figure out why the hell I can't stop combat. I guess because of this guy? Evaded. Got one! Finally! And he's captured. Thank God. Alright, just one more to go. Alright, got another one entangled. So I just need to get the box on him. And it's captured. So the only thing I have left to do is to go ahead and uh, end the combat. And the only way I can end the combat is to go find that other wounded cave hopper and finish him off. Fuck these things. I've been sitting here running around for about five, six minutes here trying to find these cave hoppers. It actually was not that bad. It was not that bad. I just needed to use the nets on them. Yeah, run away. Just come right up here. Shoot it with a crossbow. There we go. And that's the end of that combat. 
kind of fucked up that it actually kind of encourages you to just end the damn thing. Let's go talk to this guy back down. This guy down here. All right, Mordre. The middle-aged man, tall and wide shoulders, stands by the coast, smoking a cigar and observing the calm water. As you come near, he turns around. His eye, he eyes you for a moment, maintaining an indifferent expression, and then speaks to you in a low, raspy voice. Don't stomp around. You're scaring the fish away. You're that guy that was running Tanner's test, right? RPG crawler, was it? I guess you got admitted. Yeah, and who are you? The indifferent expression still remains. I'd tell you that, but then I'd have to kill you. Just call me Mordre. In that case, Mordre will do. Good. Alright, so how's the fishing going? Could be better. I was hoping to catch some deep eels, but I forgot to bring meat. And the eels don't care for worms much. Use those only if you want to drown them. Okay, what kind of meat do you need? Any meat will do, but raw red meat works best. I could hunt down a hopper, but I can't leave the rods unattended. I've got some meat right here. Good, you want to trade it? What can you offer? How about a health hypo? Make it two when you have a deal. You drive a hard bargain, but very well. Now to catch some eels. Got some more questions? What is this place? It's called Mushroom Cove, but it's basically a big lake where all these little streams converge and form the Cel Celeritas River. It then runs all the way to the bo very bottom of the deep caverns. Okay, tell me about the deep eels. There are many kinds of deep eels. Most are delicious and very easy to cook and eat. The blue eel is everyone's favorite, including me. The further you go down the Celeritas, Soler however, the more dangerous eels you find. It's the very nature of this world of ours. The deeper you go, the more dangerous it is. All right. That's interesting. Well, I earned two health hypos. Let's look down here. Okay. Got miscellaneous. Oh, this is where I was stuck on that island. Zapping by zapping that beetle. It's not too much a problem. The mind shrooms. Oh! One of these little bastards, huh? Let's try pyrokinesis. Oh, that's that's an area of effect. Okay. Let's try neural overload. Just zap them. Alright, what you gonna do? Oh, there's actually... Ah! Oh my god! No! Holy shit! And I haven't I haven't saved in a while. But I think it's auto saved. So. Yeah, th these are hardcore, man. These are no joke. Uh, let's go down the other way real quick. I'm gonna try and find Newton. All right, into the next cavern. I got an Azuridai way over there. Let's try and zap it. Neural overload. Twice. Don't zap me. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. Oh, these guys can, like, end me. I'm, like, at half health. Use a health hypo. These guys are no joke. Holy shit. That's not what I wanted to do fucking interface fucked me up. It's gonna kill me? Not quite. Holy shit, that's not what I want to do. I'm hitting the button, it's just not registering. Okay, you know what? That was scary. That was freaking frightening. Alright, all healed up. Let's check out these remains. A Psy Beetle Brain. It's an oddity. There we go. Stealth up, since I should be using stealth. There's a sign and another Azuridai. Let's 
zap it. Oh, what the fuck? Why... Why can't I surprise attack with that stuff? That's what I always want to know. Ow. Ow. Yeah, these things are just harsh. Does pyrokinesis do any better? Uh, yeah. But it's only once every so often. So, we gotta rely on that. My problem is that uh, I don't have nearly as much uh, as much in terms of in terms of bandages and shit, that I should have. Maybe I can learn to make some bandages. Hmm. A periscope part. Not bad indeed. There's blood over there, that's not great. Oh, a health hypo. Nice. So let's go ahead and uh, check check inside. Oh wait, I forgot to check out the sign. Let's exit the building real quick. Let's come over here and look at the sign. What does this sign say? Southgate Station and north to Junkyard. I don't think I even need to be here this 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 early. Let's see, is this kid that I'm looking for in here? Or this dude, whatever? Psychokinetic modulator. Oh my god, I need electronics. I seriously need electronics. I'm hearing a bug. Kind of stealth up. And it's going so slow now. There's an Azura die in there. Let me get uh let me get healed up real quick. I'm gonna have to find some more bandages pretty soon. Oh, that's because I'm lightly encumbered. Alright. Well, I'll throw something down. I'll throw down a uh, steel plate. There you go. Now I ain't encumbered. Wait, yes, I'm still encumbered. God damn it, give me a second. Alright. No longer encumbered. Oh shit, it's right there. Let's uh get this blast far enough away that I don't hit myself with it. Or I will hit myself with it. Sure, why not? Oh, now they all come for me. Oh no. I done fucked up. Ampule. And zap. And zap. And move. No! Oh, I am dead. I am so dead. Kill it. Kill it with brain fire. Oh, crap. Crap. I'm dead. Ah! We'll try that again. Yeah, this game gets real hard real fucking quick. I don't even know I'm supposed to be in here, man. Alright, trying this again. I'm going to try taking pot shot and then just run back. If I can pull them out one at a time, that's that's ideal. Yeah, let's run around in here. Oh, 
Oh, it's it's right there. No, it got off the first one. I want to hit this, but I don't want to hit myself. Boom! I should have just used my usual. Neural overload for the win. I will win this. Oh, I will win this. And an ampule. Yeah, this is the first game in a while where I've had to use uh, consumables right off the bat. And that brings me back to bandage level. Okay, gonna try this again. Stealth mode in. And there should be one more of these things in here. There's a barrel over there. What's this place? What is this place? Okay, there's one of those creatures over there. It suspects me, but it doesn't see me. Oh, shit. There's an explosive barrel. And it sees me. Let me try and go inside. And close the door. Can it even come inside? Can't even come inside. But I can't actually go out. I can't actually do anything about him. Let's examine this place. I'm not finding that kid, that uh, Nathan anywhere. Hacksaw tool. I don't, I don't know that I have one of these. I do now. And yes, I will be dealing with those things outside afterwards. Okay, old diver's helmet, nice. Level up. Let's level up while I'm in... I can't... Can I level up while I'm in combat? Yes, you can. Very, very nice. I think I'm going to boost constitution because I keep getting my ass handed to me. And what did I say? I needed electronics. And I can try and build that side dampener now. That's boost thought control. And psychokinesis. Wait, no. Metathermics. Yes. And in terms of feats... Wow, there's a lot of things. These are ones I already have, and these are ones I need. Um... Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Mental subversion? Yeah, let's get that one. Definitely a benefit to me. Can I exit the combat yet? No, I can't. Alright, let's open the door. And then let's blast this thing. No, don't don't one-shot me. Almost one-shot at me. Alright, that was well worth it. Here you go. Try pyrokinesis for you guys. Ow. Ow. No, don't, don't, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Yeah, I'm dead. Uh, close the door. Can't open doors. No opposable thumbs. And I just wait around until I can use my healing spell again. Or my, uh, med pack or whatever it is. It's not like they can heal themselves, right? Open the door and... 
Go ahead and zap it. Don't one shot me. Oh fuck, he critted me. He critted me. No! An asshole lose. It's because he critted me. Fucking A. I don't even think I need to be in here this this early, so I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna continue looking for Nathan back on the other side. I will see you when I get there. Okay, there's one just right around the corner there. And they see me. I don't have to move up to hit those things. I think I will, though. Boom! And then run back. And out of sight. Let me hope this one works. I'm going to have to cut out some of these tr these attempts, too. Okay. Let's try... to do neural overload on this thing. And then run! Yeah, they're coming in hard. Oh, fucking hell. Gonna try and hit some hit and run tactics. Um, I doubt they're gonna work. As evidenced by the fact that I'm really damaged right now. I don't have enough hit points to sustain all this. It is legitimately going to kill me unless I just do this number. Now this is exploiting. But I honestly don't care at this point because these things are hard as hell and I want to get at least one of them down. If it wins, that's not what I wanted to do, damn it. This is the cheesiest thing ever, and I know that I can't do it on the big, the big group. Because if I try to do this on the big group, they're just going to stun me and kill me. But if I can get one of these bastards down, then that is of benefit. I'll go ahead and level up. Same thing as last time. Okay, leveled up. I'm going to try to pull out one more, but I doubt it's going to work. Cheesiest fight ever. Is there is what I need even up here? That's my question. Pyrokinesis. Boom. And I get initiative. Run the fuck away. Oh shit, it caught up to me. And I should be dead, I think. It'll catch up. They'll catch up to me and I'll die. Or maybe not. Thought occurs to me, I can just use my health hypo. Come a pace or two up. And then drop a fireball on them. Oh fuck, I, I got too close. Come on, just get clumped together, please. Fireball! Boom! And then run the hell away! This actually might be a de- I may not even have to go into the next area. I say, as they promptly catch up to me. Run! Don't kill me! I really don't want to die. 
I run faster than they do. Can I actually hit them from here? Oh, one of them's dead. And I didn't have to do the off-screen shenanigans. I may have to now. And one more. There we go. I'm not gonna leave the screen unless I have to. So let's try this. One more. And then run the hell away. And that is a fight, and I didn't even have to leave the screen, so I didn't cheese that fight, except for the very first one. Oh well, um, so I will go see what's over there now. That's worth a save. Alright, let's continue onward. I am wounded. I have a feeling this is going to be pretty brutal to get beyond. I'm going to leave some of this shit here because, quite frankly, I'm not entirely sure what to do with it just yet. I need to get my crafting on. It's going to be pretty soon. But that seems like it would have been enough to kill a lot of people. So maybe Newton's around here somewhere. Wait, what's in here? Nothing. Nothing. So just around the edge of the, uh, around the edge of the lake, which got me nowhere. Oh, a trilobite fossil. And is that seriously it? I've got a mine shroom I'm going to collect. That, that got me nothing. That just got me a couple mine shrooms. Well, I guess that's, that is some loot, I guess. Is there a way to get there? Nope. So, uh... I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go look back in, uh, on the other side of the lake, then. Alright, back on this side. Don't think I'm seeing anything useful over here. I guess I could try to... I'm gonna have to try to do exactly what I did there, except, like, in a building this time. Oh, shit. This is gonna suck! Can I do it? Yeah, I threw some stuff on the floor. Gotta go stealth mode. Is there anything back here I need to worry about? Um, nothing serious. So yeah, let's try to get another beetle, shall we? I'm gonna have to take these down one at a time. So let's, uh, hit it with fire and then run. Not very far. Let's zap it. And then run. Uh, yeah, I think something was like crawling in my beard. Ah, I had a bug land on my beard. Sorry for bugging out there, <laughs> so to speak. Got enough bugs to deal with with the ones on the screen. It's the only problem with the beard, man. I love it, but then, like, I turn around and, like, a little bitty creature tries to, like, fly down from above and, like, land in me. Could be worse. It was just a, it was just a, uh, just a wood beetle, but, uh, 
At least I think that's what it was. And now I'm rambling. You know, I took that one out without taking much damage. Let's see what the next one brings. Oh shit, there's another one on me. I have a feeling if I go one further, that it's going to show up. So instead, I'm going to run back. And open up with a fireball. And then run away. Hey, this is not bad tactics. Zap it. And then run away. And then zap it. Twice. Because it's almost dead. Hey, at this rate, you know, at this rate, I may not be doing half bad. So what the else what the hell else is in here? I really need to get rid of some of this gear. So what I'm gonna do is an entire episode on nothing but haggling and crafting, I think. What else we got? Do we have another one of these things? I know what's in there. There's a... Oh, there's Newton! Don't mind me. A terrified man leaps out of a, the dark corner and begins slashing the air in front of him. His shirt and pants are stained with blood and you see a piece of cloth tied around his thigh, below which a large wound grins. An instant passes, and the man retracts his knife and stares at you. A sigh of relief precedes his words. Ah, it's not a sigh bug. I almost got a heart attack. Thank goodness. Are you Newton? Big Brett sent me out to look for you. You've been out of SGS for a while now. Yes, yes, I'm Newton. Don't even mention Big Brett to me. He sent me to catch those stupid hoppers. I guess I went too far to the west and ran into sigh bugs. He never told me about them. Why didn't you run away? I did. I started running around... Hey, the bugs surrounded me. I ended up in this pla- Suddenly he clenches his teeth in pain. Ah, and I cut my leg somewhere along the way. I stopped the stupid bleeding, but I can barely walk. Why the hell are we still talking? Can you get rid of all those damn bugs so I can get safely get out of here? I can't run. They're all dead. Let's get out of here. Great, great. I want to get the hell out of here as soon as possible. He rushes past you, dragging his injured leg behind him. And I just wait as he limps away. So there we go. Let me go ahead and get what I need to loot out of here. Which, if I remember right, wasn't a whole lot. There was some interesting stuff in here, but, uh... The hacksaw tool. Did I take my lockpicking stuff? Um... I don't know how much lockpicking I have. I don't think it's enough. Yeah, insufficient skill. So I guess that settles. That is back to the base. I will see you when I get there. Oh, wait, I just found another trilobite fossil just outside. Always check the rubble. Always check the rubble. All right, time to talk to Big Brett. Okay, um, I have got your hoppers. Excellent work. Here's your payment. So, would you like to name them? Aren't we just going to eat them eventually? Eventually, yes, but until then, I need to keep track of them. It's easier if they're given names. Alrighty then. So, what's it going to be? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. And then you got the uh, stuff from mythology, and then you've got the stuff from uh, philosophy. I think I'm going to go ahead with the simple one, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So be it. Oh, and what about Newton? He ran into Psy Beetles and was forced to hide in an abandoned warehouse just west of the Mushroom Cove. He cut his leg a bit, but he'll survive. In fact, Pascal should be patching him up right now. I told him to be careful, not to wander off too far. Well, I'm glad he's all right, and thank you for helping him. That's all as far as I'm concerned. You can go back to Tanner. So let me talk to Tanner. All right, talking to Hadrian Tanner. I'm done with Brett's quest, now what? Excellent, I have another task for you. Gorski has led an expedition into the near, uh, nearby GMS compound. 
and he requested that you specifically join him there. Go to station platform exit and talk to Ezzy. She can instruct you on how to get to the GMS compound. After you completed this task, come and see me. So I get to go to the station platform next, but that will have to wait for another episode. For now, it's been the RPG Crawler with Underrail. If you like what you've seen, remember, remember to leave a like, comment if you've got feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content. Until next time, take care and goodbye.